my dear children welcome back to english class i'm sabida joseph your english teacher last day we discussed the adverbs and the speaking session today let us discuss the vocabulary page number 33 and we also discuss punctuation from page number 35 so let us start today's class so first we'll discuss the vocabulary session page number 33 on the board you can see some words what you have to do is you have to match the words which has similar meaning okay so let's do that the first word is sad okay can you see any other words which has similar meaning to sad okay so you can see some words here silent tiny unhappy wealthy and incorrect which word has the similar meaning to sad yes unhappy unhappy means someone who is not happy which means sad okay so we can we can match it together okay next one wrong okay wrong means something is not right okay is there is any other words related to this word wrong yes incorrect incorrect is also meant wrong okay so we can match it together next word is small okay small so is there is word any word related to this word silent tiny tiny means small okay so we can match it together next word is quiet in the classroom teacher says keep quiet which means keep silence okay so you can easily connect this word with this word both these words have similar meaning okay next word is rich 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 means someone who has a, a lot of money okay so is there is any words related to rich in this session yes wealthy wealthy is also means rich okay so we can connect it with so here you can see some words which has similar meaning but different spelling different pronunciation but it has a mostly similar meaning okay sad unhappy wrong incorrect small tiny quiet silent rich wealthy okay so children these are known as synonyms okay so what is synonyms synonyms means words which have similar meaning okay okay children on the board you can see some sentences here you have to change the words which is in blue color and you can use this words in the brackets okay so you have to use the synonyms of this words and my friend is very sincere my friend is very sincere is there is any words related to this word sincere yes the word honest so we can write the word honest instead of the word sincere my friend is very honest next sentence don't look so upset don't look so upset okay children you can you can you identify the synonym of this word upset from this bracket yes the word sad so we can write sad instead of upset so don't look so sad next sentence tingu felt strange tingu felt strange so children can you identify the synonym of the word strange from this bracket yes it is old so we can write old instead of strange okay next one she looks beautiful she looks beautiful is there is any words synonym to this word beautiful yes that is pretty so we can write she looks pretty instead of beautiful okay so these are the synonym words we learned sincere honest upset sad strange odd beautiful pretty okay children so what is synonym synonyms are words which have similar or identical meaning okay
Okay, now let's do the textual exercise. Page number 31. Rewrite these sentences with the correct words from the box. On the right side of the screen, you can see a box with some words. Let's see the first one. This is an amazing book. This is an amazing book. Instead of the word amazing, we can choose the word wonderful because both these words means same. Okay, so the sentence will become this is a wonderful book. We changed the word amazing to wonderful. Okay, second one. My name is Isha. I'm happy to meet you. My name is Isha. I'm happy to meet you. Is there is any word similar to the word happy? Yes, glad. So the sentence will become, My name is Isha. I'm glad to meet you. Third one. Dheeraj was upset that he missed the bus. Dheeraj was upset that he missed the bus. Is there is any word with same meaning to upset? Yes, the word sad that we already discussed. So the sentence will become, how will become? Yes, Dheeraj was sad that he missed the bus. Okay, so complete the other two questions by yourself. I hope you all understood what is synonyms. Okay, so do the textual exercise properly and study well. Now let us discuss the punctuation from page number 35. Hi, my name is Ammu. This house belongs to Ammu's uncle. So Ammu can say, This is my uncle's house. The apostrophe and S denotes something belongs to somebody. This umbrella belongs to Amu's grandpa. So Amu can say, This is my grandpa's umbrella. The apostrophe and S denotes that something belongs to someone. That is the umbrella belongs to Amu's grandpa. This cap belongs to Amu's brother. So Amu can say, This is my brother's cap. This car belongs to Amu's mother. So Amu can say, This is my mother's car. So we use the apostrophe and S to show that something belongs to somebody. So children, we use apostrophe and S to show that something belongs to somebody. Okay, so now let's do the textual exercise in page number 35. So I have written two sentences on the board. The rest of the questions have to be uh, completed by yourself. Okay, so let's do the first one. That is, I sang at the party of Prejwal. I sang at the party of Prejwar. So we have to use the apostrophe and S to show that something belongs to somebody. So this is the birthday party of whom? Yes, Prejwar's. So it is Prejwar's birthday party. Okay, so we can use the apostrophe and S with the name of Prejwar. So see how we can write it. I sang at Prejwar's birthday party. So here we use the apostrophe and S. I hope you can see this Prejwal's birthday party. Next sentence. This book belongs to my aunt. This book belongs to my aunt. So, whose book's that? Yes, that is my aunt's book. Okay, so the book belongs to aunt. So, this is aunt's book. So, how we can write it? Okay, this is my aunt's book. Here also we use the apostrophe and S to show that something belongs to somebody. That this book belongs to aunt. Okay, do the rest of the questions by yourself in your textbook. Okay, so we use the apostrophe and S to show that something belongs to somebody. Okay, so children, I hope you all understood today's class. Today we discussed synonyms from vocabulary session, page number 33. And we also discussed the punctuation mark from page number 35. 
so do the textual exercise and study well now we completed the lesson a uh, different diwali in this lesson we met tingu tingu's mother and nima on the day of diwali tingu realizes something what's that yes she is blessed with many things she is thankful to god for that and she also trying to help others she helped nima she welcomed nima to her house to celebrate diwali count our many blessings that we are blessed with many things we blessed with parents we blessed with friends relatives good we get good education isn't it yes so we should thankful to god for that and we should try to help poor people also so children i hope you understood this lesson study well and understand the value we learned from this lesson we'll meet next day until then take care and bye